My name is Priscilla Hunter. I'm a tribal representative elder from Coyote Valley Band of Pomo Indians. And a lot of the land out here uh, was bought up by the state. Oh, this is the overpass. You can hear all the cars. There was cultural sites all around here. And, and they didn't have those mapped out ahead of time. Um, they just ran into them when they started grading. We had a, a large cultural site and they just, they just dug that up and destroyed it. When Caltrans was considering doing a bypass project to the town of Willits. Uh, Caltrans uh, recognized that there would be numerous um, sacred sites. Rather than address those sites in government-to-government -government consultation with the tribes, Caltrans went ahead with the project. If I had known back then, that's a famous saying, what I know now, we would have had more interaction with Caltrans, knowing the law. They don't contact us in the planning stages. They choose a spot and that's it. And they already have a plan. They've already uh, contacted the players or other agencies who they need to contact, and the tribe is always last. We lose out, and our ancestors get destroyed, and their spirit get destroyed in this area. It was hard to keep up with them, because they had the full authority, and whatever they wanted to do, they did it. Found out that in the night, they went in with no tribal monitors and dug up the village site. As a result, the tribes were forced to file litigation against Caltrans and the Federal Highway Administration to force them to engage properly in government-to-government -government consultation and to deal with the numerous damage done to the sacred tribal sites in the Little Lake Valley. Our ancestors had lived there you know, all over this land. This whole project has, has um, caused us great pain and sadness. The history of the non-Native people is just over 100 years. And their structures can be seen because they were built with steel, metal, aluminum, plaster brick, some wood, but that wood was also uh, manufactured, turned into boards. However, the, the native peoples, my people, we gathered the material on the spot, like bark, redwood bark, willow branches, rocks, to construct our, our structures. And those materials were meant to biodegrade back into the earth. A lot of the um, village sites were, I believe, would be along this area. So let's say Caltrans was going to uh, put a highway through where your ancestors are buried. And they said, we don't care that they're buried there. We're going to dig up their graves, we're going to take their remains, and we're going to throw them away. You would be outraged. Well, it's that sort of treatment that these tribes experienced here. There are no effective remedies when Caltrans defiles an archaeological cultural resource site. Coyote Valley has been always the tribe that will stand up and, and um, take on issues. You know, we may not win at the lawsuit, but each, like I say, each step we take is a win, is a victory.